I'm here to come in there and take everything that you got. That's what we are, a takeover Good. worldwide. I ain't no trying with me, man. Yeah. That's just the thing, though. That's, That's the all thing. it's going to be. It's going to Everybody be got a plan to get punched in the face. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Mike. Josh Taylor and Teofimo Lopez are set to fight each other on June 10th, and a lot of pros have put in their predictions. Tim Bradley believes that Josh Taylor has what it takes thanks to the fact that he's a veteran at 140. Tim stated, so I'm going with Taylor because he's the veteran at 140 pounds of his career. He's fought a lot of tough guys in the weight class, including Regis Progre. I'm going on his body of work and what he's done over the course of. I'm going with Taylor. I think his aggression, his body punching, and he's a better inside fighter. He's the bigger fighter, the taller fighter. He can box. He can counterpunch extremely well. If Lopez can't hit him and hurt him and knock him the hell out, I have to say, I got Taylor, and he might even stop Lopez late in the fight. Jose Ramirez thinks that the fight will come down to whether or not Josh Taylor can handle fighting after being out of the ring for so long. We'll see, man. I think Josh Taylor will be a lot bigger than Teofimo Lopez, but, you know, you know they, they've both been, uh, I think Taylor hasn't been in the ring for a while, so it just depends, you know, where, where he's at mentally, and where it depends where, where Teofimo Lopez is at mentally, but I think... I think, you know, Josh Taylor is not the nicest guy, bro. Like, uh, you know, he, uh, I don't think he's going to respect you from Lopez at, at, at all, you know, but... Roy Jones Jr. is really interested to see how Lopez does after healing from his previous injuries, and he thinks it'll be a great fight. Roy stated, that's a really great fight. We gotta see how Teofimo comes back and bounce back from those injuries and stuff. The things that have been wrong with him, has he fixed those things? If he's not, he won't beat Josh Taylor because Josh Taylor is a fighter who's on his weight. But if he's at his normal, physical way of being, then I would lean towards Teofimo because of the experience factor. I know he was sucking himself down pretty light making 135, so he'll be more comfortable at 140. Now Josh can punch, and Josh is not a bad fighter either. But experience-wise, I would lean towards Teofimo. Josh has no walkover. Shane McGigan is set on his own prediction, and he really thinks that Taylor will have what it takes to put Lopez down. Self, but you're in there with a guy like Josh Taylor. That yes, he got dropped by Jack Cattrall, but trust me, I know how good that guy's chin is. Like, and his hand defenses are great. I just think it's a fight that Josh is gonna, yeah, he's gonna win. He might, he might look ropey for the first five, six rounds, and then he'll get into his stride. And I think he could stop him. 8, 10, Tony Bellew believes that size will play a big part of who wins, and he hopes that Josh Taylor capitalizes on that. Tony stated, Two excellent fighters, and it's going to come down to who wants it the most on the night. We've seen what both of these fighters are capable of at their best, and if we get the best version of both men, then this fight could be something special. Josh is the naturally bigger man, and I think he'd be wise to use his size. Make it his fight early and then stay on top. If he can do that, then he'll outwork Lopez and take this fight on the cards. Ben Davison was asked about who he thought would win, and he definitely saw this fight coming for quite some time. Yeah, I, I heavily fancy Josh in that fight. I think that Josh is a huge 140 with a phenomenal work, work rate, great engine, um, phenomenal variety, and I think that Tiafimo will have a hell of a hard job just trying to hold Josh Taylor up. Carl Froch is worried about Josh Taylor's inactivity, but he still thinks that Josh will be able to come out on top. Carl stated, Taylor's not been busy, and he's jumping straight in with Lopez. Lopez is very confident. It's in America. But Taylor is very, very confident. He's a great fighter, very experienced, and he's going to want to become unified champion again after vacating most of his belts. Lopez will have other ideas. What a great fighter Lopez is. Very confident and still, even though he's getting on a bit in his career, full of ambition. I think it's a great fight, and I think Josh Taylor wins that fight. It's going to be close, and I think it's going to go the distance, but I think the Tartan Tornado will win on points in a great fight. George Combosis Jr. believes that Josh Taylor is extremely underrated, and he thinks that he beats Lopez. George stated, It's a very good fight. At the moment, you've got to give the edge to Josh Taylor. He's the naturally bigger fighter, 140 pounder, and he's proven himself. I think he's very underrated for what he's done. In the Catterall fight, it was a close fight. Maybe it should have gone to Catterall or whatever. People forget. Look at the names he's beaten and fought. Lomachenko, he's beaten Comey, Nakatani, and he's fought myself. Sander Martin is no easy fighter himself. He's a tricky guy. It'll be an interesting fight. I give the edge to Taylor. Vasil Lomachenko is looking for a rematch against Teofimo Lopez, and he thinks that it could happen if Lopez beats Taylor. 
is a rematch with Teofimo, if he were to get a victory over Josh Taylor, does that interest you and how do you see that yeah, fight? Yeah, of course it's interesting, of course it's interesting. It, now it looks like, it looks like personal. You're yeah. asking about 140? <laughs> I, just because it's Teofimo how about, and he how about fought him before, about that's all. if he wants to fight at Canelo? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> what, <laughs> what, Canelo was out of my Usyk. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, still, uh, <laughs> Teddy Atlas believes that Josh is a little overestimated and he thinks that Lopez will come away with the win. Teddy stated, the naturally more talented guy as far as pure natural talent, that would be Teofimo. That doesn't mean that he's going to win. That doesn't mean that you're going to be the better guy because that talent has to be properly developed. Part of me wants to say Taylor, he is undefeated still even though he might not deserve to be. But it is over here, it's not across the pond where Taylor's from, it's over here. I'm gonna say Teofimo. I think that Taylor is a little overestimated as a fighter. I think he is, but you could also say the same about Teofimo with the way things have gone, that he's overestimated. Gervonta Davis was asked about what he thought of the upcoming fight, but it turns out that he's never really paid any attention to Josh Taylor before. I never really watched Josh Taylor, so I don't, I don't even know. You guys like back and forth on Twitter a couple years ago. Yeah, but I never, I watched little clips and I seen like, he ain't, I seen little clips like, but you didn't see I clips? never seen him, I never, yeah, I ain't never, like on them clips, I never be like, oh, that's your there, like, I gotta watch over. Jack Catterall really couldn't bring himself to pick one or the other, but he's looking forward to the fight. Jack stated, interesting fight, really hard for me to call. Lopez didn't look great when he stepped up to 140. That fight against Sander Martin was a bit underwhelming. Taylor's last fight, yeah, I didn't think he won that. Then we're looking at the injuries he sustained. Taylor threw out training with his new team, how he's overcome them injuries. I think there's a lot riding on it. I wouldn't be surprised if Taylor ran through him. I wouldn't be surprised if Lopez had regrouped. He can cause Taylor an awful lot of problems. I'm really on the fence. I'll be watching and we'll see what we make of it. Regis Pro Gray was a little torn to the possibilities, but he ended up believing that Taylor could do it. I, I really think that Taylor is probably going to destroy him. You know, and that's that's kind of my thoughts and stuff like that. But I think Teal has the style to beat him. But I think Taylor just gonna probably just just. Josh Taylor really wants to make Lopez pay for what he's been saying, and he really thinks that he'll be able to retire him. Josh stated, I feel I'm going to knock him out or retire him. I give him that much of a beating and accurate punching that's going to bust him up so bad. It really motivates me to put some pain on him and punish him for what he's been saying. I really don't need motivation for this fight, but with him saying things like that, it gives you a little bit extra, so he's going to pay for these words that he said. Teofimo Lopez doesn't just think that he beats Taylor, but he thinks beating him will make him the kingpin of 140. Lopez stated, I'm well trained and we have a well thought out plan in mind. I feel like the young takeover of 2018. We figured out a problem that gave me issues with my coach. Since then, my sparring has looked phenomenal in those training rounds, getting hit less. Beating Josh Taylor makes me the kingpin of 140. We make it look easy because we're on a different level. I'm ready now. Give it to me now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.